Hi guys, Flyscar here. Today we're going to look into material swaps and we're going to take a vault crate and we are going to fashion it into something for my SCP Foundation mod. We are in the CK now. I already have my SCP Foundation mod open and what we want to do is find a vault crate. I I believe it's just called vault underscore crate and that'll be in statics ah, there we go we've got quite a lot here and what we're going to do is I'm just going to right click preview so we can see that our crate is here and the name has underscore beige after it but if you click on the next one got a blue version, a red version and just a plain steel crate. Um, this is done using material swaps so they're all the same model and they just have different textures applied over them. To get started I'm just gonna right click the crate and click edit to bring up the menu, well the pop up with all the information about this crate and I want to find what um, material this is using so if I click on edit I can see that this already has a material swap on it and what it does is it takes vault crate 01 VGSM and replaces it with vaultcrate02.bgsm alright so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into material swaps and I'm going to find vaultcrate01 beige material swap so this should be quite easy just to leave that um, filter in click on material swap there we go nice and simple right click edit and what we can see here is the original material so vault crate 01 is being replaced by vault crate 02 and we can see where these are actually stored so if I come into my extracted fallout data go materials and we want set dressing and all the way down the bottom to vault and there's our original BGSM file so I'm just gonna right click copy that and hopefully this is nope that's the textures folder uh, click onto materials this is the one inside of my steam library and I'm gonna come in here and paste in the vault crate 01. I already have a white version of this crate so what I'm going to do I'm going to call this SCP crate um, red and it didn't move up. If I double click this I load up material editor you can download this on uh, Nexus I will leave a link in the description but once you load up your file you, you can just kind of leave the majority of this like you don't need to touch it and if I click material you can see that this crate by default has uh, a bunch of textures to it so vault crate 01 underscore D like diffuse is what it actually looks like normal is kind of the bumpiness and smoothness of um, the texture so like a brick wall would have bumps in it and the smooth spec is actually how shiny it is so if you want it to look metallic um, you would change this so what we want to do is we want to go make well we want to take 
this DDS file you will need a plugin for Photoshop or GIMP um, to actually do that um, they are like just search um, like Photoshop GIMP um, DDS plugin you'll you'll find it and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go grab this texture and I'm gonna load it into Photoshop All right, I've got my texture open in Photoshop this is the I believe it's just the steel um, crate so it's got nothing on it and what I want to do is just make any changes to this so and so what I'll do is I'll just gonna add some right into it and this is gonna be far too big SCP foundation yeah it's far too big uh, that's fine we're not really worried about this being perfect uh, I'm gonna chuck that on there place it there gonna grab um, the logo which I previously made and duplicate that put it into that one and realize it's gonna be huge and free transform just gonna shrink it down there we go obviously that does look really bad at the moment um, but what we can do is just kind of break it up a little bit so I've just got like a, a brush that will make it kind of look weathered and um, we'll probably have to do something with the transparency of it might have to rest, let's fix that text as well just to smash up the text a bit make that a bit worn and you just kind of do what you need to do it still looks a bit um, a bit bright but that's not the point of this tutorial we're just gonna kind of add a little bit of time to this there we go so all right so once we've got what we want our texture to look like well our our crate, gonna save as, gonna choose DDS and what we can do is I've already got one of these saved. Um, I'm just gonna change this to SCP crate red underscore D. So um, I add the underscore D uh, so I know that this is the diffuse um, texture and I want to keep it no alpha you just kind of change these depending on what you want uh, but for this there's no holes in it or anything so it's just no alpha generate map maps and press save All right so now that we've got that we are done in Photoshop we can come back to I just realized that this is not red it is definitely steel but um, I'll change the names. Alright, so what we want to do is we click this dot next to diffuse and we're going to find our texture. We can leave the others because we want it to keep the same normal map and the specular map that was already there and just save that. And we can close that out and back into the CK and we can save ourselves a little bit of time take the crate that I had already done and duplicate it rename it and open that up alright so I can already see that this replaces uh, crate 01 with my white crate and if I scroll down this list on replacement uh, the replacement material I should find it here and 
and it will be in here somewhere. Crate red. And since I've made this material after um, loading the CK, that material probably won't show up. But I wouldn't worry too much about it. Um, I, I made it as a the original crate as white. So I'm just going to edit the one that I've got. So yeah, you can't, can't really see my crate as such there. But uh, right, go model and for the material swap, I'll choose red. There, there we go, you can see my white crate there, property of the SCP Foundation. But I'm, I'm going to change it to red, it hasn't reflected there because I've done it after the fact. And what I'll do is rename that red, and yep, that's all we do in here. Uh, yes, create new form because I didn't duplicate it and come into constructible object and do I apparently I don't have the crate oh yeah I just did it via um, console commands so what I'll show you here is a little bonus tip um, originally when I started this mod I had a constructible object for every single decal and even before I just finished the white ones I was up to 42 constructible objects and um, somebody pointed out that you could use form lists uh, as constructible objects and it saved a hell of a lot of time so um, I ended up making just one for each uh, color. So what we'll do is we'll jump down to form list and I haven't got, I've got a misc menu so double click on misc menu yeah I've got my crate there that's why I couldn't find it. Um, come into container I'm gonna drag the red in and what using a form list does is means you don't have to have like 20 constructible objects it does however stop you um, changing what they use to make them so if I just duplicate this red decals and I'll just call this uh, misc because that's what it's for it's for the misc items um, on this and uh, definitely I don't want to want it to be a crate um, I don't really think that's the right one to use but it'll be fine and we just want our um, we want to find our misc menu which is our form list and like alright so whatever items are in this form list will be created using this so it says one cloth we're going to change that to one well we'll say free steel it just means that anything in that menu will um, have the same like requirements uh, get rid of the recipe filter because we don't want it to go into the decals and um, we'll just put in SCP misc and we can just press OK so we should see both our crates in that um, in that menu item providing I've got it all set up right save the mod and we're going to hop into game and I will find a workshop somewhere and we will see our two crates.
Right, we are in Sanctuary now, and this is my uh, MTF agent with his little SCP armor on. That will be coming in a future uh, release of the mod. So I'm going to just drop into build mode, and we're already in the SCP Foundation menu. And if we go across, there's our misc. And there's the crate that I originally made, so I'll just place that down. And there's our new crate. And texture doesn't actually look too bad, like for a quick job that we did with it. it looks pretty good. And that is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.